let's read this question the average mark of the lowest quartile of a class of 12 students is 40 average mark of the highest quartile is 80 average score of the middle one third is 60 the person who stood fourth scored 70 the overall average is 62 furthermore we are told that the top three scored the same mark and the score of the last three students is an AP how many individual scores do we know of the 12 people just let's just look at one or two definition a quartile is one fourth lowest quartile would mean the last one fourth of students so there are 12 students the students who got the last three scores would form the lowest quartile the top quartile would be scorers one two and three okay. let's see how we can solve this one to begin with let's arrange all the scores of the students in descending order starting from a1 through to a12 so a1 would be the highest score a12 would be the lowest score then let's capture the information given in this figure the highest quartile average is 80 or the average of a1 a2 a3 is 80 the lowest quartile average average of a10 a11 a12 is 40 the middle one third average is 60 or average of a5 a6 a7 a8 is 60 on top of this we are told that a4 scored 70 score of the fourth student is 70 so we know the average a1 to a3 average of a5 to a8 average of a10 to a12 and the fourth student score which was 70 now the top three students score the same marks so they should have all scored 80 because the average is 80 all three have scored the same mark so now we know the scores of a1 through to a we are also told that the last three scores are in ap the average of any three terms in ap is the middle term so the average of a10 a11 a12 should be a11 the average score is 40 so we know what a11 is equal to we might not know what a10 or a12 is we know that a11 is equal to 40 now this is the second interesting part in the question the average of all 12 numbers is given so we can find out the sum of all 12 marks we know the first four marks so we know the sum of the first four marks the average of a5 a6 a7 a8 is given so we can find the sum of a5 to a8 we know the sum from a10 to a12 because again the average is given so we can infer the exact score obtained by a9 just going through the algebra we know a1 a2 a3 the sum of these three is 18 to 3 we know a4 to be 70 we know the sum of a5 a6 a7 a8 is 60 into 4 we know the sum of a10 to a12 is 40 into 3 so adding all these plus a9 would give us 12 into 62 because 62 is the overall average with this we can find the exact number of a9 now we know the scores of a1 a2 a3 and a4 we already found that we, have, we could deduce a11 because a10 a11 a12 are in ap we can also figure out a9 by because we know the averages of everything else in the gap so we know the individual scores of six out of the 12 people 